Hello friends, I'm Nayashik from blogtool.com and welcome to another amazing video. In this video, I'll teach you how to create a classified ad listing website like OLX, eBay classified, Craigslist, etc. using WordPress. I'll also teach you how to make money with this website. Now this website is really special because here people, people can come, they can register with this website and they can post ads. Now there are different type of ads that they can post. For example, they can post ads to sell they can post ad to buy they can also post special kind of ads like auction ads or bidding ads they can also you know post ads for exchange to exchange products and so on also you have some special features like comparing different ads and then searching for ads with the use of map and so on there are lots of features available and also making this website is really really easy very very easy now first let's see the demo website which we have created or which we will be creating in this video and after that you can decide whether you want to watch this video or not okay so let's see the demo website that we have created all right guys so this is the demo website which you see on your screen at the top we have our header we have this logo over here you can create different beautiful logos without using some corel draw and all these things i have a, a separate video on that I, I'll give a link to that. Okay, you can create a different logo that would look something like this. Then we have our menu over here, very beautiful and simple menu. At the right hand side, we have some different options like we have a button over here which says submit ad. When you click on this button, you know, you'll go through the process of submitting ads. And when you create an account, you will see this. You can see your account, you can change your password and so on. You can log out and this is the compare button. When you click on this, you can compare different ads over here as you can see you, we have different ads make model and all these things you can see colors different colors and all those things okay so very useful feature now after that what we have is we have this section this is the top section and this is our home home page by the way so this is our top section and we have a title subtitle and a search form over here okay so you can search for the product you can put in the location and you can select from the category okay predefined categories then you can search for that then after that we have this section here we have different icons for different categories okay you can see vehicles jobs furnitures and so on then after that we have another section these are different tabs for example this is the latest ad tabs and the next one is ending soon tab okay so these are two different tabs over here then after that we have this section now this is a very simple and useful section basically we are saying the benefits when you register with the website that you can participate in auctions you can submit your ads promote your ads get viewed get reviewed to become noticeable save favorite ads and more okay so this is how it works now after that we have packages now as i said you earlier that you can make money with this website we can create different packages and people will come and purchase these packages to post ads on our website so we can on through that or you can also insert you know google adsense ads so you can also earn through that now we also have this subscription option over here mail uh, mail letters subscription option i'll show you how to set up this one now after that we have a footer over here very beautiful and simple footer then we have the bottom footer here we have the copyright text we have some social icons and a bottom menu okay so this was a very simple and a very beautiful home page now let's see how a single ad would look like so let's see that so this is how your ad would look like we, you'll have this header like this okay you'll have the name the breadcrumb and you'll have this logo now this logo is also very useful this is a quick search logo when you click on this and you type in something you can search for something very quickly okay for example i have typed in apple now when you click on this search button you'll see the results over here okay so very useful icon now here are all the options you can upload different images of the product and this is a simple ad selling ad we are selling this product for forty five thousand dollars this is the seller you can contact the seller the, uh, here is the phone number when you click on this you can see the complete phone number there is a button which says contact seller you can click on this button you can type in the message and you can contact the seller then we have some more details or more description about the product you, you can see the make the mileage the body color you can you know add anything over here for example if you're selling a smartphone you can add different things or if you're selling something else you can add different options over here 
then at the right hand side we have this ad action you can share this ad you can print it you can make this ad as your favorite so you can go to your favorite list and you can see that this ad will be, will be available then we have this map available map of the person who is uh, selling this ad then we have some description about this product now people can also comment on this one okay so this was a selling ad we have some more ads so let's see what we have next now this is a buying ad now someone wants to purchase this product okay they'll again give some description all these things now if you want to sell your product and if you if you if this purchase person is purchasing this product and suppose i have this product and i want to sell this to this person then i can contact him you know i can just take his number i can contact the person and we can do a commerce okay then after that we have a bidding ad for example if you see oh your five bids are already there so five people have bid it and you can see the bidding history over here you can when you click on this you'll see a bidding history for example someone started the bid with five thousand dollars then ten thousand eleven thousand then after that the latest bid is twelve thousand dollars so suppose i also want to bid and i want to purchase this product then i can maybe bid for twelve thousand five hundred and i can click on this place bid now you can see the number has increased to six bids and the price and the bid price has also increased now there's 11 days remaining in the auction to end after that whoever has the highest bidding will get the uh, will get this product okay now rest everything is uh, the same then we also have an exchange uh, ad you you can just post your something for example your phone your laptop and you can uh, post as exchange so someone suppose wants to exchange their product so if someone has a new laptop you, you have a old laptop you give them your old laptop take their new laptop and you get and you also give them some money so i think this is also a very useful ad then after that we have a gift ad okay so you can also post these kind of ads okay so these were different kind of ads now after that we have this page this is the browse ads page now you can see over here you can filter ad by different criteria for example keyword uh, by category by location by price type whether you want whether you're purchasing what kind of product you want to filter selling auction buy exchange and whether you want to purchase a new product or a used product manufacturer manufacturer refurbished product and so on okay so very useful and you have all these ads showing up over here now after that we have the search ad with map option over here now if you see over here there are some featured ads so people can pay some extra money and they can make their ads as featured also if you see over here this uh, this marker is jumping okay so this is also a very special feature when you pay some extra money you can uh, opt in for these features here also we have filtration options we have some ads and we also have this map okay then after that we have this news section or post section you can create different posts and post on your website now this is also a very useful feature then we also have a frequently asked uh, question page type of ads how auction works how to promote submitted ads and so on so you can have this fact page so that you know frequently asked questions can be uh, submitted over here then after that we have how it works page now in three different steps we have explained how this thing works you know you create an account and then you post an ad then you start earning okay very simple very useful page then after that we have a contact us page we have the map we have a contact form over here then at the end this is the page when the user will see when they click on this submit ad now let me show you over here now suppose the user want to uh, add or uh, submit a new ad they can click on this button and they'll see this screen now they can post different ads they can type in the title they can uh, put in the ad type reprise images and so on now we'll see these things later on in this video oh yeah so this was a very short demo of the website that you're going to create i think this is a very very nice and very useful and very profitable website the design is cool the features are tons of features available over here so if you ever want to create a classified website this is the perfect tutorial for you okay so without wasting any time let's get started and before proceeding further guys make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos 
Also, if you think this video is helpful, if this video helps you, then give a thumbs up to this video. If you have any doubt, any queries, any question, any suggestions for me, you can put them in the comment section below. Now, let's see, let's get started. All right, guys, now to create any kind of website, we need two basic things, a domain name and a hosting account. A domain name is nothing but the name of your website or the URL of your website. For example, google.com, youtube.com, facebook.com, blogdo.com, all these things are domain name and a hosting is nothing but a place wherein all your file has saved. For example, you see these images, all these different images, icons and everything, all these pages, everything is saved in a computer which is running 24 seven so that whenever someone visits your website, they can see your website live. Okay. So both these things are very essential. You cannot proceed further without using these things. Now I have a very good, uh, I know a very good company that you can opt in because there are many different companies out there in the market. You can purchase hosting and domain from. So what you have to do, just open a new tab and type in blogdo.com slash TMD. Now, when you do so, you will be redirected to this page. This is the page. Now, when you scroll down, you'll see the three different plans and this is cloud web hosting. Okay. Cloud hosting is way more better and way more faster, may way more reliable and secure than the regular shared hosting. Okay. So people, the experienced people and the pro will always recommend you cloud hosting, not the regular shared hosting. But if you want to save some money, for example, here, the cloud hosting starts at five ninety five, around six dollars per month. Or if you want to uh, some cheaper option, you can click on over here web hosting. You will get some cheaper option. Let's see what is the price over here. Here you can start uh, with $3 per month, but I don't recommend this. But still, if you want to save some money, you can go with the shared hosting plan. But I highly recommend cloud hosting. So here we have cloud hosting. We have three different packages over here. Now let's see what are the different features that we get with these packages or with cloud hosting and why you should choose TMD cloud hosting over some other company cloud hosting or some other company hosting. You know, there are many different companies in the market like SiteGround, HostGator. I, I was in fact, you know, promoting HostGator a year ago, uh, but I th uh, when I came to know about TMD, I really like TMD and now I prefer TMD over any other hosting company. So you can, uh, this is the best hosting company according to me. Now we have three different plans. Now let's see what are the different features now the first option or the first feature if you see this two thing over here it is using a six core cpu and a six gb of ddr4 ram now i have just explained you that a hosting is nothing but a computer wherein all your website file and data is saved and that computer is running 24 7. so the computer that is storing that has stored our file our website file is really a strong and robust computer you can see that computer is using a six core CPU. That is really amazing. Six GB of DDR4 RAM. So the computer which is, which these guys are using is really awesome. Also, we get unlimited bandwidth. Bandwidth means the amount of data you can transfer with your website, the amount of data you can upload and the amount of data you can download from your website. So we have unlimited amount of data upload and download. After that, we have a very, very special feature, which is SSD space. Now a very special, this is a really special feature and very unique feature. You don't find this in most of the hosting companies. And this is the main reason why I recommend TMD over any other company. Now, if you don't know the difference between SSD and regular HDD, you can just open a new tab and type in SSD versus HDD web hosting. You can see the suggestion over here. Now you can read all these different articles. You'll get to know the difference between them, but you can click on this image. You'll see uh, all these things in a graphical form. Now let's see this uh, this first result. Now here you can see this orange bar is HDD and this green bar is SSD. The first one is speed. It says higher is better and you can see SSD is way more higher than the regular HDD. The second one is IOPS. Again, it says higher is better and you can see the difference is around 100 times difference. Okay, so SSD is 100 times better than SSD in IOPS. In latency, it says lower is better. Now again, SSD is 100 times better than HDD. So there is no question between SSD and HDD. Now, the great thing is that you're getting unlimited SSD space. 
Now you might be getting SSD space on some other hosting company, but the thing is they give you a very limited space like 5 GB, 10 GB or maximum I have seen 30 GB. But here you get unlimited SSD space, which is really amazing. After that, you get unlimited website hosted. Now this is also a very special feature and very important feature indeed. Because here unlimited website hosting means that you can host unlimited number of website in one single hosting package. Or, or, or it's what happens is for example, today you're creating this classified ad website. Tomorrow you might need to create a, some business website or an e-commerce website. So tomorrow you don't need to purchase a separate hosting account. You can host those e-commerce websites in the same hosting plan. In fact, you can host unlimited websites in one single hosting plan. So this is a very useful and very important feature. Then we also get a free domain when we uh, get any one of these packages. Then we get premium support, free cPanel, NGINX web server and SSL certificate. Now this is a very important feature, especially in 2018 from 2018 onwards, because first let's see what SSL certificate is. You see this green socket over here. This is the SSL certificate and why I say this is important, especially uh, from 2018 onwards, because what Google has done is Google has started labeling all those website without SSL as not secured. So suppose, for example, let me go to my website blogtoot.com, which is a very old website. Now, if you see over here, Chrome says this website is not secure. I have not yet purchased SSL for this. I, I have a new website, nayashake.com, and I have all those SSL thing over here. But just to show you guys that if your website doesn't have this SSL certificate, Chrome will say that this website is not secure. And when you click on this, it says your connection to this site is not secure. Okay, so this is not a good thing. And here you can see this is secure and here it says connection is secure. That's why SSL is very, very important. Now we get wildcard SSL, which is a really crazy feature. Now wildcard SSL means that you can install SSL certificates on unlimited number of domains and subdomains. Now, why do I say this is a crazy feature? Because if you go in the market to purchase a single SSL certificate, it will cost you around 40 to hundred dollars. And here you're getting unlimited SSL certificates with one single plan, which is really, really amazing. Then we also get optimum cache, which will improve the performance and speed of your website. We also get memory cache instance of 256 MB. Again, it will improve the performance and speed of your website. And the performance of this package the enterprise cloud is three times better than these three, these two. We also get 60 day money back guarantee. Okay, so you can select any one of these packages. I would not recommend you to select the starter cloud. The reason is very simple. Here you get only webs one website hosted. So you can host only one website over here. Tomorrow if you wanna create another website, again you will have to purchase a hosting account. So that is not recommended. You can go with business cloud or enterprise cloud. I am at present using the enterprise cloud. So that's why I'll uh, go with enterprise cloud. I'll click on this get started button. All right, guys. Now, as I said you earlier, we get a free domain name with this uh, with this uh, account. So you can type in your free domain name over here. So let me type in my free domain name. I'm typing nayashake onecom You have to type in your domain name over here. And from here, you can select the extension .com dot net dot org if you're creating this website for some organization you can select dot org if you're creating this website for country specific you can select this country specific domain name or domain extension for example dot us for united states dot in for india and so on but for most of the people i would recommend you to go with dot com okay so type in your domain name select dot com click on proceed all right guys now after this we have to fill in this simple form you have to put in your uh, basic information like your first name, last name, your email address, phone number, country and so on. After that, you have to put in your payment information. You have to put in your credit card, debit card detail over here. You can also pay through PayPal, but I would recommend you to pay with credit card or debit card. Then after that, we have some more options over here. These are really important option. The first one is to choose your data center location and you have to select the one which says nearest to you. For example, here you can see for me, Singapore says nearest to you. So I'll select this one. Then after that, we have to select the period by default. 12 month is selected. I also recommend 12 month. Now, if you see over here, uh, if you go with one month, you'll have to pay seven to eight dollars extra per month. 
now which means that by the end of the year you are already paying around hundred dollars extra which is not a great idea so i would recommend you to go with 12 month then after that we, this is a very important feature which is promo code i would recommend you to type in nayar 7 n a w y a r and numeric 7 and click on apply now this will give you 7% uh, off uh, on your purchase now this is very special because you know 7% is the highest discount that tmd currently offers okay so you're getting the highest discount possible after you're done with all these things, just tick mark over here and click on checkout. All right, guys, now when you click on that checkout button, you will receive a mail from TMD hosting, which should look something like this. Now here you have all your username, your password, your cPanel link, all these different details like your name servers and so on. So what you have to do, you have to open this link, this control panel link at the bottom, open this link in a new tab. Now, by the way, this is a very important mail. So make sure you save this uh, email somewhere. If you have multiple email address, you can just, you know, uh, just you can just forward this to those different email addresses. Just make sure everything is safe and secure because these are really important information. Now, what you can do, you can copy and paste your FTP username and password from here and you know, copy that from here and paste it over here. Now click on login. All right, guys, so this is your cPanel. Now what we have to do, we have to go at the bottom. We have Softaculous app installer and the first option is WordPress. So select WordPress from here because now our domain and hosting is ready. Now it's time to install WordPress on our domain name. Now click on install. Now from here, you have to select the domain on which you want to install WordPress. So I have selected the domain and cancel this thing WP. Okay, we don't want any WP over here. And you have to select this one https okay you have http you have https you have to select the s one okay select this and after that you can change your site name you can put in your website name or your company name or and you can also put a very short description of uh, about your website or the tagline of your company or, or your website and after that you have to put in your admin account details your username and password so i would recommend you to change your username from here and put some different username and some different password from here let me hide this thing okay fine and also change your email address from here put in your own email address okay then go at the bottom and click on install now wordpress is getting installed on your website it will take few seconds don't worry all right guys now as i said you uh, it took few seconds now we have two different links over here open the second link uh, the wp admin link and this is our dashboard okay this is our wordpress dashboard the place from where we will control our website and whenever you want to come over here or come to a dashboard what you have to do you have to type in your website name forward slash wp hyphen admin okay so when you type this thing over here you will be redirected to this page now this is and let's see how our website is looking at present so we have this thing over here at the top right corner when we hover this we get this visit site let's open this visit site link in a new tab so this is how our website uh, is looking at present and this is looking really bad we want to make a beautiful website like this now for that we have to change the design and also the features we need some more functionality and more features because here we have many different features here we have the feature of buying and selling you know we want to accept payment on our website and there are many different things that we have we have to do over here so for that we need a theme okay a theme will change the design of your website and it will also you know give you many more functionalities using premium plugins okay so what you can do is open a new tab and type in blogtook.com slash adifier a d i a d i f i e r now you don't have to do anything just uh, there is this link will be given in the video description below go uh, at the bottom open that link in a new tab and you will be redirected to this page okay all right now as you can see this is the theme this is a very good theme this is indeed a new theme in the market and that's why they are uh, giving this theme on sale and this is a very very good theme you can see the rating here is 4.96 which is a five star rating really really amazing theme you're getting if you are getting this for 29 dollars it's really amazing and the normal price is 59 dollars but the theme is really good 
it has a lot of features and so on so what you have to do you have to purchase this theme and when you purchase this theme you'll get a file a zip file now i won't be purchasing this because i already have this theme so what i'll do is i'll just cancel this from your come to my dashboard now let me show you how that file would look like that you can that you have to download okay this is how the file would look uh, adify wp now you don't have to upload this file if you open this file you'll see that uh, this file has some more files inside for example adifier change log child theme theme now this is the file adifier theme file that we have to upload so what you can do you can select this and you can extract this file now when you do so you'll get this file over here Adif adifier wp open this here we have adifier theme open it and inside this we have this uh, file this zip file this is the zip file that we have to upload so very easy to do let me show you what you can do uh, at the left hand side you have different menus click on appearances now by default two three themes are already installed but these are really bad themes so we don't need this we'll just delete them because uh, we need some you know we don't want anything to be uh, utilizing our data and utilizing extra space okay so what we'll do we'll add a new theme click on add new click on upload theme choose file and let's choose that file from here uh, this is the file select this file and click on open now click on install now all right guys so the theme is successfully installed now it's time to activate the theme so click on this link activate okay so we have this theme installed and activated now this theme recommends some plugins so click on this uh, link which says begin installing plugin now these are uh, some really premium and good plugins so what i'll do is i'll take my code here it will select everything now from the bulk action select install click on apply now click on this link return to required plugin installer because we have installed all the plugins now click on this link return to required plugin installer now it's time to activate all the plugins so again select everything from the bulk action this time select activate and click on apply now as i have explained to you earlier that theme will change the design of your website and the plugins will add extra functionality to your website that is what these two do okay now let's come over here and let's refresh this page now as you can see this is how it is looking at present and this is looking much better the design is looking much neater much cleaner and we have all these buttons uh, automatically present over here so it has saved some time for us and this is looking very much similar now now let's start creating this website let's start creating how let's see how to create this so come back over here and first let's start adding the uh, posting different ads so first what you can do you can click on this dashboard now when you do so you'll see there are so many different options over here new options okay like ads orders reviews so many options over here now what we have to do first we have to start creating ads so let's see how we can uh, create create an ad so from the left hand side you'll see this ads hover ads and click on add new to add a new ad fine now we have to give it the title first let's open a simple ad so that we can see how it looks let's open this drone ad let's open this this is an exchange ad you can add any uh, any kind of ad from here or maybe let's see a simple ad let me search for something all right doesn't matter let's open the first one it doesn't matter what you're adding okay so this is the title over here let me copy the title from here and we can put in the title okay so this is where your title will come then after that you will see we have this images and so on so, but before that let's add a category if you see here in the breadcrumb you will see home vehicles trucks so this is under vehicles category okay so let's create a new category and you can add different categories for example you can add a parent category computer okay uh, maybe you can add a category technology okay okay this can be a parent category technology and in that technology you can add a subcategory computer now this is not required but you can do so and if you want to make this subcategory of or a child category of technology you can select the parent category as technology click on add new category you can see this is how it looks 
now this is not required you can just uh, select and uh, accept a div you can just create a separate uh, category as computer this is not required but you can do this way as well okay i just wanted to show you this now we have to add a location so suppose this is at mumbai so i'm adding mumbai as the location click on add new location now after that here this short description or the description will come so let's see where is the description here is the description you can see okay it says the name of the product over here and we have some simple uh, title some simple text and so on over here so what i'll do i'll just copy and paste everything over here and when we scroll down we have some more options here we have to add the images so click on add new and by the way if you want to download all these images this logo this marker and everything for demo purposes because when you're creating a website for the first time there are many there are very high chances that you don't have any images and so on to post so what i regularly uh, basically do is if you go to my website blogtoot.com let me show you and click on this link and this link will also be given in the video description below you'll see at the bottom there is a link which says images download you can download uh, this file and you'll get a file wherein you will have all the images css and whatever i have used in this video for example let me show you how that file would look it would look something like this edifier uh naya shake and in this file you'll have two files css and media and in media you'll see all the images that i have used in this website okay so let me uh, upload a, a image from here so click on add image select files and let me go over there media let me upload this file okay let us click on open this is getting installed and uh, uploaded and select this click on select okay so we have one image you can add multiple images from here so you can just upload some more images for example if you want to upload these images okay you can select these click on open and these are also getting uploaded as you can see so you can select these two now okay maybe this one upload one more click on add new and select this one this time so we can add multiple images over here we can also add a video url so let me go to my website this video is related to this product for example we have some iphone ipad or some laptop over here and we have some video related to this product this laptop on youtube so what we can do we can simply copy this link a video link and paste it over here okay so this is how it is done now what is the type of ad that you're creating whether you're selling something whether you you want to purchase this product whether you want to auction it what is this type so i am selling it and what is the start price uh, it, this is uh, for auction okay so we don't need to put any start price and we we just have to put in the price now if you want what you can do you can leave this thing and if you leave this thing empty what happens is it will show instead of this price it will show call to call to get the price okay so let's see how that works okay let's not put anything over here let's uh, you can also set an expiry date so maybe this uh the i want to sell this only till the end of this month after that i don't want to sell this product okay is sold no it's not yet sold and what is the condition it is used okay so condition is used we'll add this location and uh, everything later on first let's see how it is done now you can add your mobile number over here so let me add my mobile number over here fine and uh, we have to upload the featured image over here so let's select the featured image and let's select the same image click on set featured image and this is some promotion thing we'll see this later on first let's publish this product let's see how it looks now let's weave this post in a new tab let's see how it looks okay so it says pay uh, looks like page doesn't exist so this is giving us an error of 404 and that is basically because we have not changed the permalink so that is very easy uh, from the left hand side hover settings and click on permalinks and by default day and time is selected you have to select this one post name select the post name click on save changes again come back over here let's refresh this page now we can see the ad is showing over here we have this images showing we have call for price we have number given over here the seller and the seller is online so you can chat with the seller then we have this sh short description 
add action and so on. Now let's add a price. So again, let me edit this post. Now let's add a price of, oh, where, here it is. Let's add a price of maybe $500. And suppose if this product is on sale, you, you can put it over here. For example, instead of 500, I'm ready to sell this product for 450. Then I can do this, okay? Now click on update. Again, come back over here, let's refresh it. Now you can see in, uh, now it's so uh, it, it, it is showing that 500 is striked out and 400 is the price. Now we don't have any price symbol, dollar, rupee sign, anything over here because we have not yet set that. We'll set those things later in this video. First, let's see how we can create an ad. So this is how you create an ad and here we have some more option. If you want to promote your ad, you can do it like, like this. Okay, but we'll see these options uh, at the later part of this video because first we'll have to, you know, put some pricing for this. How, if you want to promote your product, what should be the price? If you want to make your, uh, make your uh, ad at the top, put your ad at the top, you will have some different price. If you want to feature your product, uh, feature your ad, you'll have to pay some extra money. Okay, so we'll see these things later on. So this is how you create a simple selling ad. If you want to create a purchase ad, just simply change the ad type to buy and everything will be same. If you want to uh, create an auction ad, simply change this to auction and so on. Very simple to do so. Okay, just change the type of ad. Okay, rest everything will be same. So this is how you create an ad. Two things are left. Okay, this promotion is left. We'll see how to do that later on. Now there is one more thing left. If you see over here, we have some more detailed thing over here. For example, they make the body color and all these things. Now we can easily put this thing over here. Now in it comes under additional information, but at present we don't see anything under additional information. Now let's uh, put some more information over here. So what you can do? From the left hand side, you'll see custom fields, click on custom fields. Now first we'll have to create a field group. Okay, so what I'll do is because that was related to computers, I'll type in computers, uh, maybe CF for custom fields and I'll uh, select both this category. Okay, and click on add group. Okay, so we can see this group is added. Now we can click on this group and so we can add different custom fields now, for example, I want to add one field for uh, maybe screen size. So let's add one field for screen size. Okay, you can name it screen size and in the field type, select single value. Okay, and uh, okay, fixed field, uh, field fixed. Okay, I think it is not required. Field hidden, not required, click on add field. Now what you can do, we have this screen size over here. Now we can configure this thing. So click on configure terms. And let's add some more options over here. For example, 13 inches. Okay. Okay. Now click on add new screen size. Then for example, we can have 15 inches. Okay. Click on add new screen size. And this is how it is done. Now we have added one. Let's see how we can add some more. So again, click on custom fields. Click on uh, computer CF. Now instead of screen size, we have added this. Let's add one more. Let's add color. Okay. Now when you select color, we, you don't, you have to change the field type to color. Okay. Change the field type to color. And uh, here at, at present field fixed, select yes. We want to give only fixed color. Okay. Uh, you'll see what that means. Okay. So just select this field fixed, make it yes. Click on add fields. Now let's add some colors. So go to configure terms. Now here you can add some colors over here. For example, if you uh, let me show you how you can add colors. First of all, go to Google and type in hex hex color. Okay, hex color. You'll see this this thing over here. So for example, if you see this is the code for blue. So you can copy this code from here and come over here and paste it over here. Okay, click on add new color. Okay. Now if you want some red color, you can go to red section. This is the red. And you can copy this color code from here. This is the color code. Come copy it over here, paste it over here. Click on this. Okay. If you want black, so you can select black from here and you can select this color code from here, paste it over here. Click on add new color. If you want white, you can select white, copy the color code from here, 
and paste it over here click on add new color so we have four different color codes over here so we have we are done with two different things two custom fields now let's add one more we have again come over here click on computer cf we have screen size we have color and let's uh, select what else can be now let's add weight okay because we need something related to color so i want the weight in gram and now instead of field type i'll select uh, numeric uh, single value numeric range search okay select this thing click on add field okay so we have three different things selected over here now again we can just cut this thing let's edit this post in a new tab let's bring it over here now when we go at the bottom you'll see more options over here for example now we have additional options what is this screen size for for example the screen size is 13 inches what is the color maybe the blue and weight you can type in maybe 400 grams okay so this is how you add additional information now let's update this page let's see what happens we at present we don't have anything over here let's refresh and see what happens all right now as you can see we have this thing over here more details we have screen size 13 inches color we have this blue color weight 400 grams and so on okay so this is how it is done now if you see over here we have this map but here we don't have this map we don't have any map and here our map is not working okay it says this page can't load a uh, Google map correctly okay because we need something called Google map API for this so what you can do you can open a new tab and type in console.developers.google.com all right when you click or oh, come over here what you have to do you have to because I have uh, already created so many different projects you have to create a new project if you're doing this for the first time so click on over here create new project you can name it anything you want okay so by default it is it will name something like my project 58396 anything okay uh, select this click on create project after that you have to enable apis and services so click on enable api and services and you have to enable two api the first one is this one maps javascript api if you don't find this just type in over here map you'll see this map javascript apis uh, open this and by default it is enabled but for if you're doing this for the first time it will not be enabled for you so you'll see one button over here which says enable click on that button and after that again come back and let's add a new one uh, geolocation okay let me search for that if you don't see over here again search for it geolocation here we have geolocation api click on this again you have to enable this one this is also enabled for me but for you if you're doing it for the first time it will not be enabled you will see enable button over here click on enable and come back okay so we have to come back to your dashboard okay over here now after you enable that you have to create an api so go to credentials okay and uh, obviously i already have some apis created over here but you won't have these things so what you have to do you have to create this uh, click on over here create credentials and select api key this is your api key okay so you can just copy this api key from here and paste it on your website and before doing that what you have to do you have to come over here domain verification and you have to verify your domain for example if you see over here i have already verified my domains but if your domain is not verified what you can do you can click on add domain and you can paste in your domain name so copy your domain name from here paste in your domain name click on add domain and uh, for me it, it is automatically done because i have already done that but let me show you what happens if it is not done because uh, that will help you okay so let me delete these things click on delete all right for some reason i don't know it is automatically verifying it but this does not happen okay let me show you these steps by the way let me add some really some different domain name which i don't even know, know okay so i am putting edify3.nashek.com and uh, this domain doesn't actually exist okay so let me put suppose you are putting your domain name over here now let's click on add domain now it will uh, for you it will say something like this verify ownership you have to click on over here take me there now again you have to click on add property and you have to put in your domain name over here whatever your domain name is click on continue 
okay now we have you will get this file download this file click on this link and you will download one uh, this file HTML file and you have to upload this file on your website folder okay so let me do uh, show you how you can do so open filezilla and let me search for that file here is the file uh, where is that gone here it is Google file you have to upload this file on your website folder so when you open filezilla you'll see different folders for different purposes for example for my website you have this folder adify2.nayashik.com you simply have to drag this file from here to this folder your website folder okay it will say process finished transfer finished which is fine now once you are done with this you can click on I am not a robot and click on verify and it will verify your domain then after that you have to cut this thing now I am not verifying because this domain doesn't exist I am just showing you how you can do this after that you can you have to come over here and paste in your domain and this time it will accept your domain okay so this is how it is done now once you are done with this go to credentials and copy the uh, link from here let me delete this one okay so copy this api code from here come to your website okay click on over here addify wp at the top options now we have to paste in this thing okay so you can go to contact page and at the bottom in the contact page you will see google api key paste in the api key over here and click on save changes you have some more options over here marker max zoom you can put uh, 0 to 19 so i don't i would recommend you something like between 12 to 15 like the zoom how much you want the map to be zoomed in so if you increase the number the map will be more zoomed if you de decrease the number it will be less zoomed okay now we can upload a marker icon and some different markers from here and you, have, you can also put in this page over here but we'll see these options later on when we create the contact page okay for now this is enough and only api and max zoom is enough for us okay now let me cut this thing again and let's again edit this post in a new tab let's see what happens now let's scroll down okay finally we have the map showing up over here now we can use this map it's really simple so suppose if you want to add some new location what you can do is you can zoom out from here and suppose i want this uh, in mumbai so i can drag this thing over here put it over here i can just zoom in a bit again put this marker uh in mumbai here it is here is mumbai okay you can put marker wherever you want you can again zoom in and if you want to specify more where in mumbai you can just you know just repeat the process okay where you want for example here near bkc bandra kurla complex i'll select this one okay fine so i think this map is looking perfect now let me do one thing let me update this okay let's view this post in a new tab let's scroll down now as you can see we have this map showing and we have this marker near bkc okay so this map is also working with this uh, this is how you create an ad this is how you create a map and this is how you do all these additional options okay additional informations now after creating the ads let's start creating the home page let's see how it looks Alright, so this is how our home page is looking at present. Let's start creating this page. But before that, what we will do is for because if you see over here in the categories, these icons are used. So let's see one. Let's uh, let us also add icons to our categories. So under ads, you'll see categories. Click on categories. Now here we have a uh, technology and we, we have computer. So let's select technology. Let's click on edit. Okay, when you scroll down, you have category image, category marker, category icon. So let's select some image for category. So let me upload file and let me select, uh, okay, maybe let's, let's select this one. Okay. Suppose I want this image as the category image. So I can select this thing. Now click on select. Then we have category marker. You can select this, click on upload file, select files and this is the marker okay for electronics looking good let's let me open this now i'll explain you in a moment how you can create these markers different markers 
Okay, so this is how it is looking. Let, let us add category icon. Select this thing. Let's select this one. Click on open. Okay, click on select. Click on update. Again, let's come back to categories and let's uh, do the same with computer category. Select the image. Let us select the same image because they fall under the same category. Then we have the marker over here. Then we have the category icon. Let me select this. Okay, click on update. Now it is very easy to create these things. Now let me show you how you can create this. Just let me open this in a new incognito window. Open a new tab and type in logo maker l o g o m a k r dot com. Now here suppose uh, you want to add a category icon for television. So you can just type in television or TV over here. You'll get so many different icons. So I think this is looking better. We can select this one. You can change the color to anything you want. You can decrease or increase the size. And I would recommend you to keep size of around 55 uh, uh, pixels of width. Okay. Width should be 55, uh, 55 pixels. Select this thing. Now after that you have to crop this. So at the bottom right corner, you'll see this crop icon. Select this thing and save this icon. Okay. Download in high resolution. No, we don't want to do that. We want to download it for free. So download and agree to give credit and you have your logo over here and you can use this thing. So this is how you create an icon and let me show you how you can create a marker. So let me re reload this. Okay, let me cancel this. So first we'll have to select a marker. So let me select a marker from here and uh, there are many different markers. I think this is looking better. Let's select this one. Let's change the color to blue and let's copy this color code from here so that we can have same colors. So copy this color code from here. You can see this color over here. Now let me add a shape, a circle. Okay. And let's make this circle white. Okay. Like this, bring the circle over here, decrease the size of the circle, bring it over here. Let's increase the size to yeah, something like this looking perfect. So we have our marker and in this marker, we want the television icon. So again, let me search for TV. Let's select the same one and let's paste in the code over here so that we have the same color. Let's decrease the size. And so easily you can see we have created a marker. Now what you can do, you can select everything using your mouse and you can decrease the size again. 255 pixels of width and repeat the same process go to crop crop this image and save this file okay save this logo so this is how easy it is to create these kind of logos okay this marker and these icons this is how i have created them okay now click on update now we are ready to start creating our home page let's see how we can do that first how our pages and click on add new Let's give it a title of home because we are creating a home page. Now let's click on publish. Let's cut this thing. Let's weave this page in a new tab. Let's see how it looks. Now if you see over here, this is now not how I want my page to be. We don't want any sidebar and anything. Here we don't have any sidebar or such. So what we can do here from the templates, you can select home page. Okay. From the templates, select home page, click on update. Again, let's refresh this. Now, as you can see, we have a blank page, which is awesome. Okay. Now what we can do is we can start adding all these things. So let's uh, see how we can do that. So to do so, uh, click on this button, which says edit with King composer. Now we have a blank page. Let's start adding all these things. So first we need a new column over here. So we have these things over here, column one, column two, column three and four columns. We want one single column. So let's add this one. And if you notice one thing, we have some gap at both left and right side. You can see the thing, everything starts from here and we have nice amount of gap at left and right. So what we can do is if you want to add some gap, you can click over here, how over here, set number of columns for this row, click on over here and you can uh, specify a number of columns you want. So we want three columns, but if you see when you select three columns, all the columns are of equal size. We don't want that. 
we want little gap from both the side and we want more gap or maybe the column should be bigger in the bit in middle okay so what we can do again hover over here and click on set number of columns and in the example here in the input type in 17% plus 67% plus 17% okay click on apply okay sorry I think we have to make it 66 make it 66 click on apply now we can see we have 17% gap from both side and we have 66% uh, column in the middle and in this column we have to uh, type in this thing okay whatever it is all your all you need is here and classified browse more than 15 or maybe 15 million adwords with whatever it is okay we have to type this thing so what you can do for this we have to add an element so click on add element and we have to search for something called text block so search for this and you'll see this one select it and paste it whatever you want okay whatever you want you just have to paste it over here and click on save okay now click on update let's come over here let's refresh this page you will see your text is showing up over here okay but this is all white that's why we cannot see it so let's do one thing let's add this background image so that we can see this text so let's do one thing let's come over here and you'll see this is a section when you hover over this pencil button it says section setting click on section uh, section setting go to styling and go to box and here when you scroll down you'll see not box you have to go to background and make this thing on okay make advanced background on and we have to add an image in the background so select this and select background image now let's upload the image and we, I think this is the one BG blue select this thing click on open now select this one you can select the uh, size of the image so I'm selecting full size click on select again it will ask you over here make sure you select the full size okay now do you want to repeat no no repeat uh, border background position I think it, it should be center background attachment scroll or fixed now if you see this one is fixed if you notice one thing when you scroll up or down the image remains at the same place whereas when you come over here the image also uh, you know scrolls with uh, when we scroll the page okay so this one is fixed so we'll select fixed over here and background size we have to select cover now click on save okay now click on update again come back over here let's refresh it okay so we have this uh, thing over here but I understand we have some problem over here we can fix this thing first let's edit this element we have some problem over here let me just copy it and paste it over here okay let me copy it from here again and paste it over here okay now this is looking better so let's make everything center align okay we have this everything is center align now let's go to text and here we have style is equal to text okay what you can do you can go to this file you have downloaded this file css file okay open this css file and we have four different five different css the number one is style and in style we have this much copy this much style is equal to color whatever it is come back over here and here paste in this thing okay after h1 you can see in the screen paste in this thing again after p paste in this same thing style is equal to color whatever it is okay now click on save this will solve the problem okay now we need some gap at top and bottom okay so you can see we have some gap at top we have some gap at bottom so let's do that so again come click on this pencil button uh, section setting go to styling and this time we have to go to box so first thing what we have to do if you see we have some extra gap over here we have to delete this gap okay we don't want this extra gap first okay and after that we want some gap at top and bottom okay so there are two different things one is margin one is padding we have to make it minus 90 okay the margin should be okay put 90 and before 90 put a minus sign or maybe let's put a complete 100 pixels that would be better so just type in 100 pixels and 
put a minus sign be be before that okay now we have padding so put 200 pixels top and 200 pixels bottom now click on save click on update and let's again refresh this page now as you can see this is looking much better we have this 200 pixels padding at top 200 pixels padding at bottom and that extra gap was there we have minus that we have deleted that okay and i think we have to make this thing center align let's see select this thing select everything make it center align okay click on save again click on update come back over here let's refresh it okay everything is center align looking perfect now after that we have this form and before this form if you see after this text and be, uh, be between this text and this form we have a little bit of gap so let's add some gap over here and after that let's add this search form okay so to add a gap what you can do you can click on this button to add a new element and search for separator or i think spacing search for spacing here it is now we can increase the height whatever you want so i i want something like 34 35 so select 35 over here click on save okay now again click on this plus button to add an element and search for search form okay here it is search form select this and style let's make it normal click on save click on update come back over here let's refresh it okay so we have the text we have the image in the background and we also have this form search form okay this is looking beautiful now after that we have to start creating this section okay and i'll show you how you can make this section like this because if you see this section is half uh, on this background and half uh, below so this is a very simple trick again we have to use the margin i'll show you how to do that okay first come over here first let let me do one thing if you see over here we have some gap uh, below this thing okay below this search bar also we have some gaps so what i'll do is i'll copy this uh, spacing from here i'll hover over here and du double this element or duplicate this element and i'll bring this element below the search form okay so this will add some spacing below the search form as well now let's start creating this one okay this column so come back over here now let's select this same uh, thing again uh, add a single column and here also if you see we have some gap at top, left and right and we have the thing in the middle so what i'll do is i'll hover over here and click on set number of columns and i'll type in eight percent plus i think 83 percent plus eight percent again let's click on apply yeah we have eight percent gap from both side and we have 83 percent in the middle where all these things will come okay so let's come over here now because we want to add categories over here uh, let's add uh, element and let's search for categories select this thing categories and style we want top icon because here if you see the icon is at the top then we have the title and the number of ads okay so we want uh, style top icon do you want to show the number of ads yes because here also it is showing if you see at the bottom five ads one ads okay uh, show in slider yes we want to show in slider visible item if you see at time one two three four five categories are visible at a time and we can use this slider okay so i'll type five visible double row no we want a single row and max image width put 40 pixels over here and name font size 16 pixels and count font size maybe 12 or 13 pixels will be fine now i can bottom margin let's put 5 pixels and box padding 15 pixels okay so this is the setting which i have used over here if you want the exact same thing you can also use the same settings okay item links to search make it yes and click on save let's click on update let's see how it looks come back over here let's refresh it okay if you see over here this is how it is looking okay we have this thing over here now what we have to do we have to do some changes if you see over here everything there is some uh, background color there is some shadow and this section is moved up a little bit so let's see how we can do so very easy to do what you can do this time you have to select this column okay select the column this category column select this pencil button click on this pencil button go to styling and go to box first go to background because we have to change the background color over here we have some uh, light gray background color if you see over here 
so go come over here select the color and type in f8 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 okay type in that you can uh, just type in and come to box now we need to move this thing uh, this thing at the top so uh, similarly which we have done in the previous section we have to use minus over here because we want to move this thing okay so i'll type in minus 90 pixels over here and padding if you see there is some gap uh, between this box and all these uh, corners okay so let's add some padding top and bottom you can add maybe 23 padding 23 pixels and left and right we can add maybe 20 pixels okay fine now let's scroll down and border radius for top two you can just put two pixels and box shadow you have to put something over here what you can do you can go to this css thing you have this shadow thing copy everything till here okay from zero to till here copy it come over here and paste it over here this will give this light shadow if you could see uh, uh, on this column this light shadow this will give that now click on save let's click on update come back over here let's refresh it okay now we can see this is looking really amazing okay this is looking nice we have this thing and this is a slider as you can see we can move it using our mouse now after that we have to add these tabs okay very easy to do again but before that we have to add some more gap below uh, between this thing and between this tab okay so let's do that first let's add a new column a new uh, column from here so let's select this one add one single column and this time we don't need any gap from left and right because this is the basic gap if you see uh, this gap is the basic gap so we don't need to add some extra gap from left and right it will be a very simple column now we have to use or we have to install or insert these tabs okay so click on add element and let's search for tabs and select this one tabs sliders okay first we need to change the title here it says latest ads and ending soon so first let's add latest ads so we can do one thing i think we have to change it from here okay select this thing hover here and click on this edit button and uh, not this i guess i think over here yeah select this thing okay select this pencil button and click on this and we have to change the title from here so first one is latest ads let's put latest ads click on save and in this we have to add elements and we have to add ads okay select this element ads and select it now which ad do you want to add and what should be the style so style should be grid which is fine and we have to show in slider and visible item if you see one two three four okay and one, we have one more column uh, one uh, we have two more rows so one row contains four and the other row contains four so total eight okay so we want to show eight items and we do want double row because we, as you can see we have two rows over here and item in row one which is fine okay so click on save now similarly we have to add one more tab from here okay so click on this add button again click on this pencil button to change and this time let's change the title to ending soon click on this click on this add element again uh, insert ads and uh, uh, you can just uh, add source you can select by category by the way okay and you can order by this is ordering by expire okay the one which is expiring soon because it is ending soon okay and rest everything is fine show in slider yes visible item again eight and double row yes and item in row one here also we have to do the same thing we have forgotten that a latest ads come over here edit this ad and add source by category okay and you can select a specific category if you want and order by because we want the latest ad at the first at the top we want by date okay and we want the descending because the latest the last ad uh, the last date which is added should be at the top okay so by date descending rest everything should be fine let's save and uh, let's update this page let's come over here let's refresh it okay so we have okay i think uh, right 
this is showing very small i think we have to increase uh, decrease that eight to four rest everything is looking fine and we have to add some gap at the top so two things are left first let's make it four so again edit this element and uh, visible item let's make it four okay now go to section settings styling box and let's add a padding of maybe 100 pixels top click on save click on update come over here let's refresh it okay so we have some gap at the top and this is looking perfect this is a slider as you can see okay so we have this section as well now after this we have this beautiful and very simple section let's see how we can do this come over here again click on this uh, now we have to click on this one two columns okay so select this one two columns we have and this column if you see this column is quite smaller as compared to this column okay so instead of 50 50 what we can do we can click over here and maybe let's make it 40 60 okay 40 percent plus 60 percent click on apply okay now let's add this simple text over here okay copy this simple text from here click on add element and select this text block and let's paste everything over here let's paste it okay so we have this thing now again you can go to uh, this text and after this h2 you can paste in that thing this thing style is equal to color white because we want all the text color white okay so you can after the h2 you can paste this thing okay and click on save now is it okay we have to do this for this as well for ul as well select this paste this same thing style color white okay but looking better and uh, we have to add this button okay and between these things and here we have we have some gap if you see if this thing ends over here then we have some gap then we have this button so let's add this gap click on this plus button add element or uh, search for spacing let's add uh, maybe 25 20 25 pixels would be better click on save now again click on plus button select text block now we have to add this button so again go to your css we have this button css over here copy it from here okay copy the button css from here come back over here and go to text section first delete everything from here go to text section okay and paste everything under text section now if you see you have to do some changes if you want uh, this button to redirect to some page for example here it says how it works page so we will be creating how it work page later on so when we create that page what you have to do you have to pop paste that page uh, link over here okay instead of this link http uh, this link how it works we have to paste that page link over here okay and if you want you can change this uh, thing it says how it works you can change how what it says okay if you see over here this is how it will look now click on save and let's add this image in the background okay so select this section setting go to styling background make it advanced select a background color and let's upload it let's select files and i think it is this one i guess i think we don't have this image i think it is this one let's select this no it is not this yeah this is the one select this thing i think uh, yeah this is the one select this one click click on select and make sure highest resolution is selected and again no repeat center center and this time it is not fixed it is scroll so select scroll and uh, background size select cover and after that we have to add some gap like we did earlier in the first section we added some padding at top and bottom so here also uh, we'll add some margin of maybe 100 pixels at top okay why because we want uh, some gap be between this thing okay between this section that we have just created and this thing so this is margin 100 as you can see this is the margin 100 and we want some padding 100 and padding 100 top and bottom okay so let's add padding 100 top over here and padding 100 bottom click on save let's click on update everything should be fine let's click on uh, refresh over here okay everything is looking fine we have a uh, hundred top hundred bottom padding 
and we have 100 margin over here. So we are done with this thing as well. Now we have to create these things, pricing packages. Again, very easy to create. Okay, so what we can do for this, we have to go to this option. So what I'll do is I'll open this in a new tab. So let me open this options in a new tab. Now go to products and here we have product, uh, account payment. We have to select packages, select packages and free ads. Now number of ads you want to provide for free whenever a person registers. So maybe one or two ad you can give them as free. They can post free ads. Uh, one or two and after that they will have to pa purchase different packages okay so if you see over here there are four different packages bronze silver gold platinum and they are selling 50 uh, they if you purchase bronze you can add 50 ads if you purchase this one you can add 100 ads and so on okay so let's create four packages over here the first one will be bronze so let's add bronze ads number of ads maybe 50 price let's put 50 rupees or 50 dollars whatever you want to put let's add a new one let this let us add silver 100 ads and 100 dollars okay then we have gold and 150 ads and maybe 120 dollars then we have platinum okay 200 ads and 150 dollars or 150 rupees whatever you want to uh, save over here now click on save settings or save changes all right now again come back over here let's refresh this home page from here and come at the bottom and select this one or maybe not this one because first we'll have to add these things okay uh, this simple text so uh, copy this text and first let's add a single column okay add element text block and paste this text over here okay paste it over here make everything center align click on save and below this we have to add these packages so what we can do we can click on this add element and now we have to select this one row inner okay and now we have to divide this into four different columns so select this select four columns add element and i think it is called yeah price tables i think it is called yeah select bronze and select non-active click on save add element again price table and this time select silver and make it active okay so we have one non-active one active one non-active then active okay add element price table okay again non-active last one price table and this should be platinum and this should be active i think i missed gold over here so select gold and click on save and we need some gap uh, at the top if you if you see we have some gap over here so let's uh, add some gap select this section setting styling box and let's add maybe i think 70 pixels margin would be fine click on save update now come back over here let's refresh this page Okay, now we can see we have our packages over here. Okay, so this is looking better. Okay, so everything is done. Now home page is done. We just uh, need to add this section. If you see, we don't see this section over here. Now let me show you how we can enable this section. Subscribe to newsletter section. Very easy. Click on this button. Okay, first hover add addify WP and you will see this footer. Click on footer and here first one is enable subscription form. Make it yes enable footer yes make it yes and we can uh, type in the copyright text so again go to the css file and you have this copyright text over here you can edit it if you want okay let me okay fine copy it from here paste it over here and if, instead of a spoon themes you can type in your name for example nayar shake crafted by nayar shake enable social media you can make it yes it will show like this okay these are the social media links and you can put in your Facebook uh, URL, whatever URL you have. Okay, Google, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest. Okay. Make it, uh, do it like this. Click on save changes. Again, come over here. Let's refresh. Now we can see we have these things. We have the copyright. We have the social icons. And we also have this newsletter thing. Now newsletter thing will also, will only work if you, ha if you have MailChimp and all those things. Okay, so what, first what you can do is, uh, if you want to learn email marketing for free in detail, free email marketing, again, what you can do, 
you can go to youtube because here we'll we don't have so much time to learn email marketing we'll just see how to set up that and again you can go to youtube and type in nayar shake email marketing or mailchimp uh, both thing will do okay this is the thing a uh, free email marketing mailchimp tutorial you can watch this one hour long more than one hour one hour 10 minutes long tutorial on how to do free email marketing very useful video okay so you'll when you do so you'll learn a lot about email marketing okay but here we have to just set up so what i'll do i'll just open mailchimp again if you don't know what is mailchimp what it, what does it do go watch that video you'll understand everything okay but here we are just doing uh, only the core things now click on login all right now what we have to do well, we need two basic things first let's come over here and now click on subscription if you see we need two things api key and list id so if you want to get your api key click over here and click on profile now click on extra and click on api key here is your api key copy it from here if you don't see your api key click on this button create a key a uh, key will be created for you copy it from here paste it under api key again come back over here now we need a list id so click on list and i have created different lists yeah i have created several lists so here for example if i want to select this list list 2 what i'll do is i'll select this thing okay and i'll go to settings scroll down and here we have unique id for list 2 copy it from here paste it over here click on save changes Okay, now anyone, whenever someone puts in their email address, uh, they will be registered to your list number two or whatever list you're using and you can send them uh, your newsletters and all those things. Okay, so this is how it works. So we are also done with email marketing newsletter. Now let's see how to use and how to put all this footer thing. We have three different footers over here. So at the first we have a simple image and we have some text simple text so let me copy this text from here come over here and if you want to add these widgets in the footer very simple from the left hand side hover over appearances and click on widgets all right now if you see over here we have this bottom sidebar one two three so here we have to put in this thing first we have this image over here so first we'll need an image widget here it is image widget select this drag it under bottom sidebar one and add an image and select the upload the image you have the image over here here it is logo footer select this click on open and click on add to widget save it and after that we have some simple text these are some, some simple text so you will have to select text from here here it is select text bring it under bottom side bar one below this thing image and paste everything over here okay now let me add some gap over here fine now if you see over here the color is different and for these two the address and the phone number the color is white so again very simple simple thing go over here in the css copy this style come over here go to text section and here you have an after ul paste in this style okay here this is how it will look ul paste in this style and click on save okay let's come over here let's refresh this page okay we have our uh, logo we have the text and you can see these two text are white because we have used that style now after that we have this quick links and we have five six links over here these are actually different pages how it works is a different page fact is a different page news is a different page and so on and we have this search bar at the bottom so for this first we'll have to create these five pages and we'll have to convert them into menu and then we can use it over here really easy uh, sounds tricky but it is really easy let's uh, start creating these pages one by one come over here let's open this add new page in a new tab first page is how it works so let's uh, add this page how it works don't do anything right now just click on publish let's add a new one click on add page faq frequently asked questions page again click on publish then after that we have news page click on add new and type in news click on publish 
then we have browse with map and browse ads okay so click on add new page and type in browse with map and this time don't click on publish first we have to select the template now select this template search with map okay for browse with map you have to select search with map click on publish now click on add new page and let's add browse all ads or just browse ads okay and this time select this template i think it is search i think yeah that is what it is click on uh, publish and there is one more page which is not mentioned over here but you'll see that page over here contact page so let's add that page also okay click on add new type in contact and from the template you have this page contact select this click on publish all right so we have all our pages over here now we have to create a menu okay so very easy to do hover appearances and click on menus let's give it a name of footer menu okay click on create menu okay now let's add whatever you want we don't want contact we want browse ad browse it map news fag how it works okay add to menu you can uh, you know just uh, use this thing and you can you know do it like this if you want okay we want how it works at the top whatever you want at the top you can do it according to you save menu okay now what we have to do we again come to this widgets page and refresh it and let's select this thing navigation menu and drag it under bottom sidebar 2 okay here and here select the menu which we have created footer menu and you can give it a title here the title is quick links okay so let's give the same title click on save and after that we have this search bar so let's select this search widget here it is bring it under footer uh, bottom foot uh, bottom sidebar 2 okay come over here let's refresh it okay we have quick links we have this uh, sidebar or we have this search bar then we have popular ads very simple again just simply select uh, addifier ads and bring it under bottom sidebar 3 and you can give it a title it says popular ads so let's give the same title okay copy it from here paste it number of ads to show maybe three and uh, order by popularity click on save come over here let's refresh it okay so we have popular ads or order by popularity more more popular and more at the top it will be okay so by with this we have completed how to create ads and how to create a home page now let's start creating different pages so first let's work with this one how it works let's see how this page looks so this is how this page is looking now we have created this page already so let's go to that page click on pages and we have how it works page over here click on edit and let's change the template first let's see how it looks so that you can understand why we change templates okay let's open this okay this is how it looks we have this sidebar we have all these things so we don't want the sidebar so that's why we are selecting full width page so select this one full width page with no push okay select this click on update come over here let's refresh it now as you can see this is full width okay looking better now edit with a uh, king composer so that we can easily edit using drag and drop now first thing that we have to do we have to uh, insert this uh, we, we need three different rows one two three and in each row we have two columns one for text one for image very simple very very simple page okay so first let's add a two column row okay here it is in the first column we have to add a text block element select this thing and paste in your co code over here whatever text you want click on save okay now select the second one and we want a single image so select single image from here upload the image you want and let's upload and select files so we want this one and i think we have only oh yeah we have two three three different images let's select all click on open and first this is the one select this image and click on select image size is full everything is fine click on ok 
now what I can do is I can simply copy the entire section okay okay three times so we don't have to do most of the things again and again now in the second column or in the second section what we have we have the image at the left hand side so we can drag the image over here now let's change the image from instead of this let's select this one and the text will also change now it says post and add okay so we can change the text copy it select everything and change the add make it center align click on save and in the third one we have some different text it says start earning okay so select it select everything from here paste it make it center align save it and let's change the image as well okay this time this image select it save it let's click on update let's see how it looks let's refresh this page all right looking better but still few things are left the first thing if you see the header is totally different over here we have a beautiful header over here we have the search bar we have breadcrumb and everything and here it's all empty so first let's do this setting come to your dashboard and how about this edify wp and click on appearances All right, now under appearances, you will see breadcrumbs. Uh, open that and show breadcrumbs is on, on, on no, make it yes. Okay, and then we have a show header search, make it yes because this is breadcrumb. Okay, this is breadcrumb and this is header search. Okay, this search form which you see. So we have to make both yes and breadcrumb style. We have to style select this one quick search. I have shown you earlier this is the quick search when you click on this icon we get this quick search thing okay all right background color can be anything and we can upload a background image like we have a background image over here so let's do that upload an image select files search select files and select this one bg2 open it now click on select click on save changes again come back over here let's refresh it all right looking perfect okay now there are again few things left if you see uh, we need some gap at top because if you see over here the text is in the middle uh, with this image and here we don't have that okay so let's do that very simple you can select this uh, this setting uh, this single column okay uh, where we have the text text block edit this element go to styling go to box and you can add some padding or margin at the top both will do okay so i'll add some padding i think uh, 70 should be fine or maybe let's increase this let's make it 85 90 okay this will be better okay same thing for your text block styling box padding let's make it uh, 85 save same thing for your styling box and uh, 85 padding click on save click on update come back over here let's refresh it okay now it is looking better everything in middle okay so with this we have completed the how it works page as well and after that we have uh, i think facts page let's see how it looks very simple okay let's start creating this page again we have created this page so we can go to pages here we have fact click on edit let's change the template to page full width and you can select no push or full width builder you can select anyone let's select builder this time click on update now click on edit with composer let me delete all these things fine so first we'll have to add a new column and in that we'll have to add an element called accordion here it is accordion select this thing and we can give a title for example the title over here is types of ads okay so we can edit this accordion click on this plus button and change the title to types of ads okay click on save and inside this accordion we need simple text like this okay so click on add element very easy it is okay don't worry just search for text block for simple text and paste in your simple text over here click on this okay so similarly you can add unlimited number of accordion for example if you want to add one more tab like here we have one tab two three number of many different tabs 
second one is how auction works and we have this thing uh, inside that okay so let's add a new accordion tab let's give it a title of how auction works okay save inside this we need to add a text block so select this let's paste in this click on save and click on update let's weave this page in a new tab okay you can see we have, this is how it looks we can open one tab and rest everything will be closed okay this is looking better so this is how you create a fact page then after that we have browse with map you don't have to create a browse with map page if you see over here everything is automatically present over here because we have selected that template okay so this is you don't have to create this okay uh, also you don't have to create the browse ads page because we have selected the template for that search template so we don't have to do anything everything is done automatically now we have to work with the news page if you see over here there is nothing present over here okay and there are two things left actually if you click if you go to your home page this you come to this page but we don't want to come to this page we want to come to let me show you we want to come to this page okay so by default this is not our home page okay because if you see it is saying your website name slash home okay so we'll have to make this page as our home page and the news page as our uh, as our blog page okay so very easy to do come back to your dashboard how our settings where is it here it is how our settings and click on reading now instead of your latest post select this a static page and in the home page select home in the post page select news now click on save changes now let's refresh and when we refresh you will see this home will be gone and will still be on the same page okay as i said you home is gone we are still on this same page and when you go to home page this is your home page now okay now let's go to news okay so this is our news and we have to change few things over here at present this is the style of showing news but if you see over here uh, our style is different we want this style okay we want this style okay so let me show you first how we can create a news okay so we don't have to do anything with the page over here we just have to create a post so how about post and click on add new very easy this is a basic stuff let me add this post let us open this one okay copy the title this is the title just pay, copy the title over here and whatever you, you want to write you can paste it over here you can use uh, media and so on everything can be used or you can create a different category for example you can put this under technology and uh, remember one thing these categories are different okay these are post categories and earlier which we have created those were uh, ads categories okay so these two things are totally different now let's click on publish now if you refresh our news page you'll see one news let's see okay we, we don't have uh, the featured image let's see okay so this is how it will look let us put a featured image so that it looks better and let's add this one update again let's refresh it now this is looking better but i want this thing in the center okay okay i don't want this extra gap over here so there is a very simple technique over here what you can do you can go to pages open news here it is and you can edit this permalink edit this permalink and after the news go to css and you will see this new style after news paste in this okay copy it from here and paste in after news paste in question mark listing uh, then we have this dash type is equal to 2 all right i think that is what it is let me see okay after news we have to put a slash after news put a slash then question mark and whatever you have pasted okay click on ok click on update let's call, cut this thing let's open this in a new tab i think okay question mark was not required i guess let's refresh it okay let me again okay i think question mark was not required oh sorry that slash was not required okay it's just news uh, question mark everything let us try or oh, maybe no 
Okay, okay, I don't, um, I'm sorry, we don't have to do anything over here. We don't have to do anything over here. We have to do that in the menu. I'm sorry. Click on update. We don't have to do anything over here. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, uh, just, oh, uh, fine. Not a problem. We have to do all those things uh, later on. Okay, let me see. Okay, when we create a menu, we'll see how it is done. Okay, so let's see what page is left. Uh, all these pages are done. Only the contact page is left. Let's see how a contact page looks like. Okay, this is how it looks. Very simple. Let's uh, and let's see how our contact page looks. Okay, click on all pages and we have created the contact page. Here it is. Click on edit. Now, because we have selected the template, most of the things will be automatically done. Let me show you. Open this page in a new tab. Okay, you can see we already have this map. Uh, we already have this form. We just have to put the map. I think we, that that is also not required. Yeah, we just have to put this map over here. Okay, at the top. Now that is very simple to do. What you can do, you can click over here. Hover over here, Addify WP, and select Contact Page. Okay, now this is where it is useful. Now email address, on which email address do you want all these things to come, okay? So I'm selecting my email address over here. Fine. And if you want, you can add some marker. For example, if you see this is the marker, so you can add your own marker uh, images. Okay, so let me add my own marker image. Upload files, select files. And I want this marker image, select this. Click on select. And if you want, you can uh, specify a marker over here. For example, uh, let let if you want to see that what you can do, you can go to a website called latlong.net. Okay, L-A-T-L-O-N-G, latitude, longitude.net. And you can type in your place. For example, if you type Mumbai over here, let me find it. You'll see you'll get these two things, latitude and longitude. You can copy it from here and paste it, uh, paste the latitude put a comma, then paste, copy and paste the longitude and click on save changes. Now come back over here on the contact page. Let's refresh it. Now we can see we have the map and we have this marker on Mumbai. Okay. So this is working. So with this, we are also done with the contact page. Now let's do one thing. Let's create the menu and let's change this logo and so on. Okay. We have this thing and we, we want this logo to be showing over here. Let's do that. Come over here. Okay. So first come over here and first go to the setting overall setting. And here we can upload our site logo. So upload this and let's upload the file. And here we have a real logo. Select this, click on open. Now select this one. And this is quite a big logo. You'll, uh, you'll understand it now. First, let's click on save changes. Let's go to our homepage. And you can see this logo is quite big. So let's decrease the size. What you can do again, you can click on appearances. And if you scroll down here, you'll have, yeah, here it is logo width. In the logo width, type in 170 pixels. Okay. Click on save changes. Again, refresh it. Okay. Now it is looking better. Now let's create our uh, menu, main menu. Very easy to do. Again, from the left hand side, similarly, like we created the this menu, we have to create the same menu. Okay, very easy. Hover appearances and click on menus. Now this time we have to create a new menu. So click on this link, create a new menu. You can name it anything. I am naming it main menu. Click on create menu and you can add everything you want. So I want home page, how it works, fact page, news, browse, all these pages I want. Okay, so I can all add all this to the home page. I want the home at the top. I want these pages like this and maybe all right. Uh, I want the contact at the bottom and here we have to do that setting. Okay. News uh, what, what we can do. Uh, I have that is the problem which I was incurring. First remove this news. Go to custom links and paste in your website link. Okay. Paste in this link. Copy and paste in your link uh, over here. And after that, type in news slash and then this thing over here. Okay. Where is that gone? Here it is a question mark listing and whatever it is after that. Okay. So we have to do this thing over here. And here we have to type in news. Click on add to menu. 
and hopefully this time it should work and after you do all these thing make sure you tick mark over here main na navigation now click on save menu come here and refresh it okay everything is working let's click on news now as you can see everything is in middle okay so this is how it is done all right guys so we are almost done and let's see a few things are left now one very uh, uh, small and very important setting is left. What is that? Come to your dashboard and click on settings. Okay. Very small setting, but very, very important. And here you'll see membership. Anyone can register, tick mark that and click on save changes. Now, if you don't do that, no one will be able to create an account on your website. And similarly, uh, they will not be able to you know post add on your website so very very important setting make sure you tick mark this anyone can register okay so this was a uh, important setting now after this we had left those bump up ads okay so let's enable those uh, what you can do we can click on uh, addifier and i think it is under products uh, so how are i addifier and click on products okay we have created the packages now click on ads and here we have bump up ad. Okay, what should be the price for bump up ad? If you want to bump up your ad, you have to pay $10, whatever uh, the currency is. We will set the currency uh, in few moments. Uh, so whatever it is, $10 or 10 rupees, just put in 10. Uh, this, what will this do? This will move the ad to the front. Okay, very, very important. So this is what it does. Highlight ads, how many days the ad should be highlighted? So I'm putting 10 days and what should be the price maybe five dollars the person has to pay five dollars and when he does so his ad will be highlight highlighted for 10 days top ad now whenever someone does some searching this ad will be on the top so how many days i think for five days and we want to charge maybe 10 12 dollars for this one urgent ad for again for five or ten days we can put it's all up to you i'm just putting some number over here ten dollars home page home map ad okay it will display the ad on the home page or oh, whenever we search that home page it will display the ad over here okay so how many days 10 days 10 dollars let's save this thing okay now let's refresh it now let's open this ad at present if you see there is no marker over here no required or urgent market it's simple ad now let's bump up bump up this ad let's promote this ad okay so what we can do we can edit this post and now all these things will be uh, uh, eligible uh, is bump up do you want to bump up yeah highlight until uh, i want to highlight until 26 or maybe 28 for six seven days uh is top yes i want to make this top ad as well urgent is uh, as well just just for uh, you know just for the sake of uh, seeing how it looks so i am i am done everything click on update come over here go to your website now as you can see it says urgent it is also at the uh, top and let's uh, browse ads again you will see this featured ad and it is uh, the first result also, when you browse with map, you'll see urgent featured and you'll see this thing bouncing over here. OK, so this is how it is done. Now, let's see payment options. Let's see currency and everything. So what we can do, we can click on payments over here. And first thousand separator, we have a comma. There are few countries in uh, in which they use, I guess, full stop as the thousand separator. You can set uh, select whatever you want. Currency symbol location before price currency abbreviation if you're using uh, united states dollar you'll use usd in india we use inr for indian rupees you can select uh, your country uh, currency abbreviation on google okay currency symbol you can put in your symbol over here so i'm putting rupee symbol over here let me put it yeah rupee symbol if you want some tax you can put 10 percent or whatever the tax is the name of the tax for example gst okay save data now uh, earlier it was showing only 450 now it will show 450 rupees as you can see we have the rupee symbol and 450 okay now we can set up different payment method for example you have bank transfer if you want to enable bank transfer you can enable it you can type in your bank name so i am typing maybe uh, uh maybe 
uh, state bank okay we have state bank of india and bank okay this was account name uh, here is the bank name account name uh, muhammad nayar sheikh whatever it is account number i am just putting some random number okay sort number whatever you have to put all this iban uh, swift code and so okay now click on save changes now whenever someone first let's refresh it whenever someone wants to purchase something uh, or someone wants to submit an ad okay they will uh, get these options now we can also set paypal from here you, you just have to make it yes and put in your client id and uh, client secret token click on save changes and there are many different options for indians the best option is pay you money and for people from america and uk and those countries i think stripe should be the best option because stripe enables you to accept payment on your home page not like paypal where you you have to redirect your customer to some different website so stripe is a good option let me enable stripe let me uh, put in all these stripe credentials over here okay so if you have a stripe account what you can do you can go to your dashboard and under developers you have this api key okay so you have the publishable key you have the secret key first i think i'll have to put in my password over here to get this key i think that is what the password is yeah that is what it is so publishable key you can copy it from here and paste it under public client key secret key copied from here here is secret key and we, we need one more thing application client id so you'll get that under connect uh, under connect you have this setting go to setting and we have this thing copied from here and paste it over here okay click on save changes similarly you can do all this pay you money paypal you have authorized.net and so on so whatever payment method you want you can select this so we have saved and edited this now there is one more thing left if you see here we have three options we also have this compare option but on our website uh, we don't have that compare option we cannot compare products or ads at present so let's enable that compare option so click on ads and uh, let's search for that here it is enable compare make it yes click on save changes okay come over here let's refresh it now we also get this compare button now if you want to compare some ads let me show you how you can do that suppose you want to compare this you can click on this add this to compare now we can see this thing now because we have only one product if you have more you can add them all and you can see over here under compare okay now let's see rest all settings okay we have seen a few settings from here let's see all the settings go to overall first we have seen this setting first we have the logo header style will be inline navigation sticky menu yes and all these things slug don't have to do anything enable share fine social login i am not doing in this video maybe in next video ads we want to if you want to show or enable only specific type of ads like sell and buy ads and if you don't want auction exchange gift you can just select sell and buy from here okay and if you don't select anything everything will be selected now mandatory fields uh, bidding step maximum top uh, uh, thing all these things you can just easily see and understand nothing more you know now here we have one option location search geo search now suppose uh, if you see over here people have to search for some location over here if you want to give a pre-specified location that like we have created mumbai like here when, when we see in category we have pre-specified thing now in location also if you want pre-specified thing what you can do instead of geo search uh, select predefined values click on save changes let's refresh it now as you can see when i click on over here i get mumbai option like category okay so it's all up to you then submitting uh, approval method when someone when a person submits ad on your website do you want that ad to automatically approve or you want to manually approve it if you want to automatically approve you don't have to do anything but if you if you want to manually approve that ad then what happens is you will have to click on ads okay let's see what happens like we have your ad over here the person will have whenever someone creates an app ad 
that ad will also show up over here and here i am the author and there you'll see who is the author and if, if you go to edit and everything is fine you can you know just make it yes or you can just enable it or publish it i think this is not a very important topic so you can leave it to auto i think that is fine now show conditions you can create a terms and conditions page just like we created some other page and you can paste in the uh, link of this page over here okay so it's all up to you then we have emails sender email sender okay so here you have to put in your email address okay and your name or your company's name and you can uh, put an email logo if you want okay and you can save changes now go to products we have created the packages in the ads we have seen all these options in the payment also we have seen all these options in the blog okay you can select the blog style but not important we have already done that subscription we have seen api list id appearances is nothing but changing the colors okay you can change the main color like copyright color and all these colors okay then contact page we have done uh, done all the settings footer also we have done all the settings now let's see how a person can add uh, an ad on a website okay so first let's refresh this page let's click on submit ad because i have created an uh now as you can see when they click on the submit ad button they see that they do not have any credit left please purchase a package because if you remember we have uh, done that subscription when you click on uh, when you uh, register an account you get only one ad for free and after that you'll have to purchase a package so let's see how it works so you can purchase this package we can uh, purchase the bronze silver gold package anything you can click on purchase you can select bank transfer you'll get all this option so you have to transfer 50 rupees to this account and you have to use this as your pay you know payment or uh, reference so that is how it is done and or if you want you can use stripe and when you use stripe as you can see you can make payment on your own website on using this pop-up okay you can pay 55 rupees so very useful so when you do this you can easily okay create uh different ads when you see uh, go to your ads we have these ads when you open this it will show up over here if you want to create a new ad because we are thing is expired we cannot do so but it is very easy to do we have the same steps same thing again and again over here okay so very easy if someone puts some air um, if someone you know uh, gives you some message you'll see it under over here if someone puts a review to your product or to your ad you'll see them over here okay so basically they can contact you they can message you and everything for example when they when they go to your ad let me show when they go to your ad they'll see okay this is the person they can contact you they can have your uh, phone number or they can click on your profile and because I, i'm the same person that's why i'm coming to this page or else they will go to your page and they can message you when they message you they'll be all these messages will show up over here and you can chat with that person okay so that is how it works and i think oh, everything is done let me see all right all the pages are okay guys i think everything is done we have successfully completed this tutorial i hope you guys uh, learned something from this tutorial i hope it was helpful for you uh, if you have any doubt any queries any questions uh, any suggestions for me you can leave them in the comment section below and uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss more awesome stuff all my videos are very very useful and they give you a chance to make some money i almost make sure that you know whatever i teach i also give a simple way of making some money okay you can also place some google ads if you want very easy to do maybe i'll create a new video a separate video for that so that you can place google ads on your website and you can also earn through that so very easy way to make some money through your website okay so thanks a lot for watching guys see you soon